That's the game show for TV addicts, where we give our contestants two minutes to guess the name of a TV series, a TV actor, or a TV character. I am your host, Sam Calalea. Let's meet our contestants. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? John, you good? You look great. I love that top. Very becoming. Oh, you're welcome. Over here, we've got Todd. Todd, I love your top as well. Well, thank you. I love yours too, Sam. Everybody, and Jeremy's top is nice as well. Jeremy's inside the box. Hi, Jeremy. All right, folks, you know this game. This game is about banking time. It's also about having fun. Now, inside that box, Jeremy, you've got a monitor full of screens. You're going to be asking the folks out here those questions, and they're going to be responsible for yes or no answers. However, the only thing these fine folks see on their monitors is a picture of the answer. The knowledge you need to answer correctly comes from you and you alone, and it's very important to answer correctly. Why? Because every time you make a mistake, you are assessed a five-second time penalty. And in this game, time is everything. Because whoever banks the most of it at the end of two rounds gets to go up against me in the money round for as much as $10,000. I think that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. All right. So, Jeremy, two minutes. Here we go. Let's play some Inside the Box. All right. Now, play along at home. See if you can beat Jeremy to the punch. Two minutes to guess the name of a series. Start the clock. Don, did the series debut in the 2000s? No. Todd, did the show debut, debut, debut in the 90s? Nope. Don, did the show debut in the 80s? Yes. Incorrect. Todd. That is a time penalty, our first one. Todd, did the show debut in the 70s? Yes. Don, did the show, is the show a drama? No. Todd, is it a comedy? Yes. All right. Uh, Don, is, does the show revolve around work or a job? No. Todd, is it set mainly in a hospital? No. Don, is it set mainly at a police station? No. Todd, is it set at home? Yes. Don, is it set in the suburbs? No. Todd, is it set in the future? No. Todd, is it set in... Don, That's is done. it set in a main, mainly in a big city? Yes. All right, and... Todd, is there a city in the title care... in the title? No. Don, has it been made into a theatrical movie? No. Todd, is it a spin-off? No. Don, is it based on a British series? No. Todd, have other shows been spun off from it? Yes. All right, that's fine. Right. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue, Jeremy. This series featured Mrs. Garrett's first appearance. Uh, wow. Uh, let's keep going. All right, no guesses. We're going to restart that clock for you. Ask your next question. 52 seconds. Left. And to Don? To Don. Don, is it set in the Midwest? No. Todd, is it set in California? No. Don, is it set in New England? No. Todd, is it set in New York City? Yes. Don, are there three show three daughters on the show? No. Todd, do the main characters live in a house? No. Don, was the father a football star? No. Todd, is the main character president of a company? Yes. Don, is, does the family own a bus? No. Todd, is there a fish named Abraham? No. Don. Incorrect. That is a yes. Your first time time will be Todd. Next question. Don, did any of the stars have legal trouble? Yes. Todd, does Vicki Lawrence star? No. Don, does... Was Alan Thicke one of the composers of the theme song? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here's your second clue. What you talking about? Willis. Oh, no. What's uh, the show? I'll keep going until I think of it. All right. You can't think of it. We're going to restart that clock. Four seconds left, my friend. Wow. Oh, no. It's... <sighs> That's time. You were looking for different strokes. You saw it. You couldn't grasp it. No time in the bank there. And when we come back, Todd's going to take a shot inside the box. America's favorite quiz show is now on Game TV. When I was six or seven, I was already a huge Jeopardy fan. It's a thrill to be here. I've been watching Jeopardy for my entire life. Play along and test your knowledge. Let's do funny games for you. Let's make it a true daily double. Jeopardy, weeknights at 8.30 on Game TV. A $1,500 coat rack. Didn't even learn smoke on the water. Babel? Can't you even speak a word of Spanish? Lo siento, ¿qué dijiste? Wait, really? Son solo 15 minutos al día. Start learning today at Babbel.com. I love walking, but it can be frustrating if my legs and feet are slowing me down. My pharmacy recommended a Revitamedic Circulation Booster, and I haven't looked back. 
Drug-free Revitiv is clinically proven to actively improve leg circulation, relieve aches and pains, and help you walk further. Revitiv Medic is also suitable for people diagnosed with osteoarthritis or diabetes. I believe using Revitiv has really helped me. Give it a go today. This Mother's Day, show mom you care with a gift from the Revitiv Pain Range. A diaper this leak free sets them free. Only Pampers Cruisers 360 have a 360 stretchy waistband, plus a new blowout barrier for up to 100% leak free fit. Pampers Cruisers 360 live wild and free. A delicious McRap can be hard to put down, but with new creamy avocado ranch sauce, it's even harder. So what will it be, Sarah? Juicy text or juicy bite? Obviously, for the McGrath fans. When I want to feel my most powerful, it starts with Venus, with five ultra-sharp blades and water-activated serums for incredible glide. I feel the difference with every stroke. Feel the power of smooth. Welcome to BetMGM Live Dealer. All your favorite casino games, blackjack, poker, roulette, craps, and more. All on your phone, desktop, or tablet 24-7. Play with friends or make new ones at the table. Double down, Dave. Chat with players and live dealers like you're at the casino. Give me a turn. Yes. Now you're betting with the king of live dealer. All right, folks, day one, round one. She's in the books. Let's check in with those scores. Don with a single time penalty is sitting at minus five. Jeremy's all even, and Todd is also sitting at minus five. But let's have a chat with all of our contestants. Now, you like to ride your bike, but you do some dangerous things. What do you do? Well, we just like to jump uh, wherever we can, pretty much. Stairwells, handrails, curbs, wherever we can put some air between ourselves and the ground. Yeah. Excellent. The undiscovered life is not worth living. Now, Don, I heard that when the producers asked you what was the craziest thing you've ever done, you said trying out for the show. Yes, no one could believe I was doing it. All right, but I have to say that there are crazier things than trying out for the show, especially the folks at home. It's not crazy. It's fun, right? It's fun. And, uh, and Todd, uh, just uh, out of curiosity, have you ever had a little too much to drink and thrown up on a jukebox? Uh, this week? No. All right, we'll just leave it there. Good stuff. All right, now, folks at home, we've got Todd inside the box. He's got two minutes to guess the name of a male character, first and last name, please. Play along at home, see if you can beat him to the punch. Here we go. Start the clock. Jeremy, is he animated? No. Don, is he an adult? No. Jeremy, is he a teen? Yes. Don, did he debut yeah. a series in the 80s? Yes. Jeremy, is yeah. he in a sci-fi series? No. Don, is he in a variety series? No. Jeremy, is he in an action-adventure series? No. Don, is he in a comedy-drama series? Yes. Jeremy, does he have an afro? No. Don, is he bald? No. Jeremy, does he have gray hair? Nope. Don, does he have black hair? No. But Jeremy, does he have light brown hair? Yes. Uh, Don, does the show revolve around crime? No. Jeremy, does the show revolve around work or a job? Yes. Five, stop the clock. Here's your first clue, Todd. He's ahead of his time. Nope. Don't know what they're... Uh, Nothing for you there. Uh, All right, let's restart that clock for Todd. Ask your next question to Don. Don, did he go to Yale? Yes. Incorrect. That is a time penalty to Don. Next question. Jeremy, did he go to Harvard? Yes. Incorrect. That is another time penalty. Next question. Don, did he go to Princeton? Yes. Jeremy, was the show created by Jerry Bruckenheimer? No. Don, was the show created by Stephen Bochco? Yes. Jeremy, is this... Best friend Millhouse. No. Don was his best friend Vinny. Yes. Jeremy, is he his father a doctor? Yes. Don, does he die on the show? No. Jeremy, does his name appear in the title? Yes. That's five. The next clue, Todd. He is rarely without his stethoscope. Any Doogie, guesses? Doogie Howser? Doogie Howser! So I guess you didn't know what it was until you heard the word stethoscope. Stethoscope, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the show, but uh, I knew right away it was a stethoscope. So was... All right, good stuff. All right, folks, guess what? It's time to put Don inside the box. All right, everybody.
everybody, our players have changed positions around the set. Here are where we are with the scores. Uh, Jeremy is sitting at minus 5. Todd is a bank of 26 seconds. And John is sitting at minus 10. She's inside the box. John, and here's your first chance. You see these two gentlemen do it. You think you're ready? I think so. Good stuff. Two minutes to guess the name of a TV series. I want you to play along at home. Here we go. Start the clock. Todd, is it a comedy? No. Jeremy, is it a drama? Yeah. Yes. Todd, did the series debut in the 60s? No. Jeremy, did the series debut in the 70s? No. Todd, did the series debut in the 80s? Yes. Jeremy, are all the main characters are the main characters all male? No. Todd, are the main characters all female? No. Jeremy, is there a character's name in the title? No. Todd, are any of the main characters married? Yes. Uh, Jeremy, are any of the main characters children? No. Todd, is it mainly set in an office? Yes. Jeremy, is it mainly set in a big city? Yes. All right, last shot. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue, Don. The series stars a real-life couple. 30-something. 30-something is incorrect. A good guess. Now, that's going to be a one free guess. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. Todd, is it set in Los Angeles? Yes. Jeremy, does the opening feature a license plate? Yes. Todd, was it directed by Stephen Bosco? Yes. Jeremy, is one of the characters named Arnie Becker? No. Incorrect, that is a time penalty. Stop the clock, please. Stop the clock! L.A. Law. L.A. Law is it. Great job. You just been 45 seconds gone. Which can get it for you? Arnie Becker. Arnie Becker, played by Corbin Burnson. I once bought a magazine standing behind Corbin Burnson. All right, there we go. That's all I've got about Corbin Burnson. That's round one, ladies and gentlemen. She did a great job. And when we come back, Jeremy's going back inside the box. So please join us. America's Funniest Home Videos, Sunday at 7 on Game TV. It's like a shower for your nose. This thing is amazing. Navaj Flush is sailing through the nasal passages to help clear congestion by quickly sucking out mucus, allergens, and germs. There's no other product out there like it. Navaj, clean nose, healthy life. A delicious McRap can be hard to put down, but with new creamy avocado ranch sauce, it's even harder. So what will it be, Sarah? Juicy text or juicy bite? Obviously, for the McGrath fans. Rebel gives you wings. You know poop is coming, but you know you have nothing to fear. Pampers Swaddlers with new blowout barrier helps prevent up to 100% of leaks, even blowouts. <laughs> Don't fear blowouts with Pampers Swaddlers. When diarrhea, nausea, and upset stomach crush your plans, new from the makers of Gravel comes Gastrovol with three symptom relief to save the day. Trust Gastrovol liquid gels for relief. Being house rich to me means more control over how I retire. But to my house, it means so much more. Francis, I do believe our petunias could use another splash. Thanks to a reverse mortgage from Equitable Bank, he started to truly realize his worth. It was the best thing Francis ever did for us. Like fresh caviar for brunch, I highly recommend it. Only you could get through my concrete exterior and bring out my emotional side. When I want to feel my most powerful, it starts with Venus, with five ultra-sharp blades and water-activated serums for incredible glide. I feel the difference with every stroke. Feel the power of smooth. All right, folks, round one is...
is in the books. Here are the scores for your pleasure. Don is sitting with a bank of 35 seconds. Todd has a bank of 26 seconds. Jeremy is sitting at minus 10. He can make that up. He's inside the box. Jeremy, your task is simple, my friend. You need to put some time in your bank. Are you ready? Let's try and get back on the positive side. I here. love it. I love a positive attitude. Two minutes to guess the name of a series. Please play along at home. Start the clock. Don in the series debut in the 2000s. Yes. Todd, is it an animated series? No. Don, is it a comedy? No. Todd, is it a drama? Yes. Don, are the main characters all female? No. Todd, is it set in outer space? No. Don, is it mainly set at a police station? No. Todd, is it a spin-off? No. Don, has it been made into a theatrical movie? No. Todd, have any of the actors starred in other series? Yes. Don, is there a city in the title? No. Todd, is it set in the future? No. Todd, Don, is it set in the present? Yes. Todd, is it often set in a home? No. Don, does it involve family or friends? Yes. That's five. That's five. That's five. Here's your first clue. The main character's mother dies. Let's keep going. You want to keep her going? Yeah. All right, we're going to restart that clock for you. Go ahead, a minute 13 left for you, Jeremy. Don, did it premiere on HBO? No. Todd, did it premiere on Showtime? No. Don, did it premiere on Fox? No. Todd, did it premiere, did it premiere on the WB? Yes. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, Don, does the show feature aliens called Graves? No. Todd, does it star Jared Padalecki? Yes. Don, does, it, does the show feature demons? Yes. I wish I watched the WB now. Todd, does it star Jake Weber? No. Don, does a character run an antique shop? No. Todd, is there a character named Sam Winchester? Yes. Don, is a character named Rupert Giles? No. Todd, does the character's fiance die? Yes. That's right. Here's your next clue. It's about demon hunting brothers. Angel. Angel is not about demon hunting brothers. That is your one free guess. And we're going to restart the clock, and you can ask your next question. Uh, Todd, is there a mysterious hatch? Yes. Incorrect. <laughs> that is a time penalty. Next question. Don, is a character named Isaac Mendez? No. Todd, is there a character named Ellen Harvell? All right, that's time. You were looking for the series Supernatural. Obviously, you don't watch the series. That's cool. You weren't able to bank any time, Jeremy. We're going to put Todd inside the box now. All right, so, so the players have changed positions. Let's update those scores. We've got Don sitting with a bank of 35 seconds. Jeremy is sitting at minus 10. Todd has a bank of 21 seconds. He's inside the box. All right, Todd, two minutes to get to the name of the real character first. And last name, please, play along at home. Start the clock. Jeremy, is he a teen? Yes. Show yeah. debut in the 80s? Yes. Jeremy, is he yeah. a comedy? Yes. Don, does he have dark hair? Yes. Jeremy, does the show revolve around home or family? Yes. That's five. Here is your first clue. He is annoying, but lovable. Uh, Alex P. Keaton? Alex P. Keaton is incorrect. That's your one free guess. We're going to restart that clock. Ask your next question. Jeremy, does he live in Boston? No. Don, does he live in Chicago? Yes. Jeremy, does he wear glasses? Yes. Don, is he a nerd? Yes. Jeremy, is his real name Samuel Powers? No. Don, does he have a catchphrase? Yes. Jeremy, does he have a twin brother? No. Don, does he have a distinctive voice? Yes. Jeremy, that's five. Stop the clock. Here's your second clue. Did I do that? Oh. Urkel. Need the first name? Steve Urkel? Steve Urkel is absolutely correct. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you didn't know his first name and you just, you guessed Steve or what? I threw out there Steve. You just threw Steve out yeah. there and you weren't sure if it was it? Yeah. That's Better awesome, than man. sitting here being quiet. Because you, there are Steve. literally dozens of first names out there and you at picked least. the right one. Yeah, yeah, there's at least a dozen. Well, yeah. good job, my friend. You Thank just you. banked one minute. 22 seconds to jump into the lead. You feel good? Yeah. Good stuff. So
But it's not over yet because we have to put Don inside the box. All right, folks, the players have switched positions around the set. Here are where we stand with the scores. Jeremy is sitting with minus 10. Todd has a bank of 1 minute 43 seconds. Don has a bank of 35 seconds. It's her second turn inside the box. Pretty simple job for you, Don. Bank some time, two minutes to guess the name of a series. Play along at home. Start the clock. Todd, is it a drama? No. Uh, Jeremy, is it a comedy drama? No. Uh, Todd, is it a variety series? No. Jeremy, is it an animated series? Yes. Okay. Todd, did the series debut in the 90s? No. Jeremy, did the series debut in the 2000s? No. Todd, did the series debut in the 80s? Yes. Jeremy, uh, are any main characters widowed? Yes. Incorrect. That is a no, a time penalty. Todd, is it a spin-off? No. Jeremy, um, have any of the characters appeared in, the main, in another series? No. Incorrect. That is a yes, another time penalty. Next question. Uh, Todd, is it usually set at home? Uh, no. Jeremy, does it involve friends and family? Yes. Jeremy, is it set, Todd, is it set in the present? Uh, no. Incorrect. That is another time, Tony. Next question. Uh, Jeremy, in five, we're going to stop the clock. Here's your first clue. Lots of explosions on this series. The Simpsons. No guess. That's not, that's incorrect. We're going to restart the clock. 53 seconds remaining, Don. Ask some more questions. Uh, Jeremy, uh, is the main character a prince? No. Todd, do the main characters fight criminals? Yes. Uh, Jeremy, are any main characters turtles? No. Uh, Todd, are the main characters have metal? Do the main characters have metal parts? Yes. Mechanical parts. Uh, stop the clock. Stop the clock. She has a guess. Is it? Oh shoot! What's it called again? Oh, what's it called? Um. All right, that's your time. I'm gonna have to charge you with a time penalty. Restart that clock. Twenty-three seconds left. Uh, Todd. Uh, do one of the characters wear a wearing, wears a loincloth? No. Uh, Jeremy, do one of the characters have a trench coat? Yes. Uh, seven seconds. Uh, Todd, do the main characters fight Dr. Claw? Inspector Gadget? That's time, but you've got it. It was Inspector Gadget is right, but you weren't able to do it before time ran out. And because of that, I see, by looking at our tally board, that the winner of the first two rounds is Todd. Let's give it up for Todd, everybody. And as Todd pumps his fists in victory, I know this, that when we come back, it's me and him in the winner's round. Actually, it's the money round for as much as $10,000 right here on Inside the Box. So come on back. Nothing starts your day like a great shower. But wait, overnight your shower head is a breeding ground for germs and bacteria. According to a recent study, that first blast of hot water in the morning can be packed with dangerous pathogens. Wake up to AquaCare, the breakthrough handheld shower head with antimicrobial nozzles that inhibit the growth of mold, mildew, and bacteria inside, giving you a clean, luxurious, powerful shower every time. The secret is Germ Shield antimicrobial technology that works 24-7 at a molecular level to protect AquaCare nozzles from bacterial contamination. Ordinary shower head nozzles clog and lose water pressure, but AquaCare's anti Anti-clog nozzles remain clog-free for superior water pressure and flow with eight amazing settings from drenching rain to pulsating massage and a convenient water-saving pause mode. You can use AquaCare as a handheld or an overhead shower. It installs in minutes, no tools needed, and no other shower head can do this. Just flip the head and AquaCare turns into a power wash. Use the fan spray to instantly rinse off soap or the Target jet to blast away that stuff.
stubborn scum buildup without setting foot in your shower. And it's ideal for pets. AquaCare is a complete shower hygiene system for your entire family. Call or go online to get your AquaCare with Germ Shield for the manufacturer's direct price of just $29.99. With an amazing lifetime warranty, it's the last shower head you'll ever need. Order right now and we'll instantly upgrade your order with an extra long stainless steel hose and a low reach wall bracket. Ideal for children and seniors. Yours absolutely free. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. You get it all. An incredible value for one low price. Call or go online to buyaquacare.ca. Order now. All right, folks, the journey of two rounds ends at Todd. He's inside the box. Todd, we're going to give you two minutes to try to win as much as ten thousand dollars you're going to have three guesses and three guesses only when you burn through those we're going to stop the clock and take it down to 500 that's still a great amount to go home with but you don't want that you want to try for the big puppy the ten thousand dollars you ready my friend absolutely sir good stuff two minutes to guess the name of a tv series don't forget to play along at home start the clock is it a comedy yes did it debut yeah. in the 80s no did it debut in the 90s yes are the main characters all male no. Is there a character's name in the title? No. Do any of the main characters have children? Yes. Does it revolve around work or a job? No. Is it mainly set at a hospital? No. Is it often set at home? Yes. Is it mainly in a big city? No. Is it set in space? No. Is it set in a small town? Yes. Here is your first clue. The series is like the Brady Bunch. Just the ten of us? Uh, just the ten of us is incorrect. That is your first guess. You've got two more. Go ahead. Is it set in New York? No. Is it on a college campus? No. Is one of the main characters a divorced dad? Yes. One of the, are any of the main characters teenagers? Yes. Is one of the main characters a beautician? Yes. Is one of the main characters a cop? No. Uh, does it star Bronson Kincho? Yes. Does it star Patrick Duffy? Yes. That's five. Here's your second clue. It stepped from ABC to CBS. Step it up. Step it up is incorrect. Now you've got one guess left. Get some more clues. Yeah. Does it uh, does it star Stacey Keenan? Yes. Does it star Carol Foster? Does it yes. Star, is there a mom named Carol yes. Foster? Does That's Doris Roberts play the mother-in-law? No. Does the family have seven children? Yes. So about three men trying to raise three girls. No. Do two actors play the mother? No. Does the family have a neighbor who has never seen? No. Step it out. Step it out is incorrect, and that was your last guess. I'm sorry. You're still going to get $500. And you were so close. Of course, the answer you were looking for was step by step. Oh, step but do not despair, my friend. You still qualify for the winner's game. I hope you had fun. Good stuff. And I hope you had fun at home. So please join us again here on Inside the Box.